some cool sounds to make some summer fun. Uh, so let's head to the Indianapolis Zoo maybe for animals and all that jazz. <laughs> Cody Maddox from the Indianapolis Zoo is here with Patty Spittler. Hey, Hi, Patty. Hi it's good to see you as always in Stewie. Mm. So let's talk about what people can enjoy at the zoo every Thursday, mm -hmm. music and animals and fun and drinks and food. Absolutely. You nailed it. Uh, <laughs> so everybody can come out uh, every Thursday from now to August 3rd where people can enjoy some very amazing local talent uh, from uh, jazz uh, across all different genres. Who knew there were that many genres yeah. of jazz coming yeah. out? Yeah. Uh, but you can also enjoy great food. You can visit the animals until 7 p.m. and really just have a great time with a unique spin on it. Okay. Yeah, I know um, during the summer, kids are, are sometimes a little bored. They want to get out, they want to do things. <laughs> Fortunately, mom and dad have to work a lot of the time. Right. And so this also allows some extended hours. Yeah, exactly. You get home from work and you can go and yeah. enjoy some family time together. And the together. kids can dance and there's food, as you said. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's not just you have to sit and you know listen quietly and politely. Mm -hmm. You can have some fun. Yeah, and exactly. and the kids can have some fun. So it's mm -hmm. really a whole family affair. Exactly. Yeah. The exactly. zoo is so beautiful. It's mm -hmm. so much work and time and attention to make it one of the pristine zoos that it is. When you stack up against the big ones across the country. Oh, it's yes. amazing. <laughs> so you only have uh, how many weeks left of this? We have about three more shows left okay. from now to August 3rd. So right. it, uh, everybody has been coming out. They've been great supporting this effort. Uh, we've had great attendance numbers and you know def we still have some great talent left. So, it's like, so definitely come out and enjoy it. And, and it's, our, it's under the pavilion too so it's not, yes. I gotta watch you know sunshine, a lot mm -hmm. of sunshine, I'm hyper photosensitive so but this is really really nice to have mm -hmm. that there. And the, 36 years it's been going 36 on? 36 years. That's almost as old as I am. <laughs> it's about as old as I am. Ah, that's Me too. True. <laughs> uh, so it, oh there's but, Pavel. <laughs> oh, it, a lot of local artists that you have here? Yep, a lot of local artists, uh, central Indiana, uh, and then like a little bit of stretch of Indiana itself. So, so you're definitely getting the Hoosier jazz mm -hmm. vibe. Let's talk about pricing. Is this included in memberships for people with those? It is. Okay. It's included with membership. It's included with general admission. Uh, food is separate. So, sure. you know, like, and of course there's a different themed menu every <laughs> week. <laughs> and, you know, it's definitely just something that's like, oh, hey, you wanted to come here, you can come early, yeah. and, you know, you can visit the animals by then, and then you can stick around a little bit longer and say, hey, I'm going to stick around for the jazz. You know, that's what we've done before, is get there a little bit early, get around, see all the animals, mm -hmm. and then just go sit, and you and your partner can go get a drink and exactly. let the kids play. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, what else is going on at the zoo? Oh, I mean, we're enjoying jazz. You know, we uh, about a month ago, we opened up our new entry. It's which beautiful. It's very great. beautiful. A lot of people have been getting so many great reactions to the White River Gardens being reopened mm -hmm. again. It's very beautiful. So I definitely encourage, if you haven't come by and see it, you definitely should. Yeah. Zubilation yeah. was such a success this year, too. Yeah. It yeah. didn't hurt that the weather was absolutely perfect for that day. Yeah, but it's amazing seeing all of the local restaurants and distilleries yeah. and everybody who come out mm -hmm. and so well organized. Anyone watching who's not grabbed one of those really quickly to sell out tickets. Mm -hmm. yes. Try to get on one next year. <laughs> it is worth it. It's, it's, it's such wonderful. a fun time. One of the best zoos in the country, mm. if not the best. I'm prejudiced, of course, <laughs> but you. I mean, in the conservation prize <laughs> yeah. that you do is just yes. wonderful to help you know, educate and, and, and yes, we have animals at the zoo we can see, mm -hmm. but then those in the wild we need to take care of. And uh, Stewie loves you. <laughs> <laughs> loves you too. You, well, and Kylie has a burner doodle, so I there do. you go. Yes, you're cousins. <laughs> you're a little bit bigger than ours. Oh, but, really? Oh. Well, we got a mini. Oh, a mini. Oh, so okay. Our Bernice's father is a little poodle. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. But I bet they would have something in common. They oh, look this yeah. coloring, everything similar. <laughs> Stewie's a beautiful dog. No, it's a good boy. And you can watch Pet Pals TV on Saturdays at 1030 right here on Wish TV. You can and also go to PetPalsTV.com. Right. And it's also streaming live if you can't get it on <clears throat> your TV. Uh, also, uh, this week we're talking about, we go to Cat's Haven, the oldest place that takes in, oh, what do you call it, oh, injured 
forgotten, mm. abandoned cats. It's really a wonderful place. We'll catch up with them. And went to ICANN with a gentleman who's now a dog trainer in charge of, of uh, programming. And uh, he has quite an interesting backstory about how he became a trainer. So tune in for that. And also, oh, we have another, a Bernadoodle, who's a therapy dog at Eskenazi. Oh, cool. Ooh. So there you go. Right up my alley. Tied it all in. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Patty. Thank you, Dottie. Thank you.